Now symmetry. We talked about symmetric points, which were so how we're going to start with symmetry, but how do we uh, test an equation? So if we have a graph of an equation, what will the graph look like if it has x symmetry? Well, if you have some points, we'll just start with one point, keep it simple. How would this point have x-axis symmetry? Well, it means if we reflect or rotate around the x-axis halfway over to here, this point would have coordinates. They could be any numbers, but it's going to look like an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. What does this point have? Well, it definitely has the same x-coordinate. What happens to the y-coordinate when you flip across the x-axis? becomes negative. So if you have the point x, y, if you have x-axis symmetry, you'll also have the point x, negative y. It's a little bit strange that the y goes from positive to negative, not the x. So just like intercepts, your intuition is a little bit backwards here. So x-axis, you're going to replace y by negative y. So if we're going to test, and if we get the same equation, then we have x-axis symmetry. Really similar for y-axis. We have a similar point as an x-y coordinate. We want to flip over the y-axis. We'll be over here. What are the coordinates here? Well, our x-coordinate is going to change going to be negative x, our y coordinate stays the same. So we have negative x comma y. So we're going to test for this, we replace x with negative x, and if we get the same equation, then we have y-axis symmetry. origin. This is done with a rotation about the origin, which is the point right here with a 0, 0 coordinate. So we again have our x, y. If we rotate halfway, we'll be down here. Both coordinates can become negative. And we have to make two swaps. Replace x with negative x and y with negative y. If we get the same equation, then we have origin symmetry. Now these are related. If you have x-axis and y-axis symmetry, you get origin symmetry for free. Uh, but most of the time, we're only going to have x -ax uh, y axis or origin symmetry. So in the future, when we do functions very soon, these are the ones to focus on. x axis is going to be uh, very rare uh, until we do polar coordinates, which won't happen until uh, next quarter. So y axis and origin symmetry are going to be the popular ones.